right, today is a special edition of my car reviews because I have my friend Chadley with me. What's up? And we are riding in a 2011 Volkswagen Tiguan. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Tiguan? Nobody knows how to pronounce it. <laughs> it's German. Yeah, and we are driving down the road on a, a fabulous day. Just outside of Las Vegas, heading up towards some mountain, something, something. Mount Charleston. Mount Charleston. De desert place. First time to Vegas, place is crazy. If you ever come, it's a, it's a crazy place. What was your favorite part of Las Vegas? Vesper Bar. Yeah. No, no, no question. Yeah. Service at Vesper Bar is terrible, but their drinks are amazing. I, I would agree. Yeah. And the Cosmo. In the Cosmo. In, yeah. Cosmopolitan. You gotta is get to the Cosmo. Right? Yeah, that place was that place was rocking. Cosmopolitan is all that. Mm -hmm. Off the chain as they say. Yeah. A lot of talent in Vegas. Yes. Yes. Very very talented people. Professional and amateur. <laughs> the first thing I like to do is I talk about like the design and the interior components of the car. So, Chad, what do you think? Huh. Oh, sorry, gotcha. My fault's gone. All right, I'll tell you. So, I think this is a cute little car, but it is a little SUV. Like a little Volkswagen Rabbit on a little bit of a stilt package, right? Yeah, it's actually not much, the back of it is not much bigger than the, my wife's Ultima. But you bought, you bought this car, or you're going to buy this car, because you love to drive, because the vehicle is quick, it's nimble, it is like you're driving a go-kart. A go-kart. Yeah. Yeah. With a little bit of storage. Um, not a big fan of the interior styling. Not to say. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it, not to say that the materials are subpar. I think the fit and finish is good. The qualities there, I just, I'm not, I'm not digging the, uh, the, the center stack. I'm not digging the, the design that much. Yeah, it's kind of simple in a not good way. Sometimes simple is good. This is simple and not so good. Not so good. <laughs> so what do you think about the driving experience? I think it drives awesome. You do? I do, yeah. It's like a go-kart. It's it's literally like driving a big go-kart, which I guess is like a dune buggy. It'll get up and go. I think it's solid. I think it's sexy too. Sexy? Yeah, like the, the exterior, I think yeah, it's a good looking yeah. car. No, it is a good looking car. Yeah, yeah. It, it has that touchy, there, he's, yeah. he's playing with it yeah, over yeah. there. I'm um, playing with it. Yeah. Stu Rogers. Stu <laughs> Rogers. <laughs> we'll tell, we, we, yeah. we won't tell you about Stu no, Rogers. No. But Stu Rogers, it's a thing. Yeah, it's fun to drive. It's like, it's a German car. It's, it's, it's for driving enthusiasts that don't want a lot of storage space and aren't taking a lot of people. But if you're taking people, you're taking small people. <laughs> not not little people. Yeah. That's. <laughs> do you call them little people? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It feels weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I interrupt this review of the Tiguan. I inter <laughs> <laughs> so I, I interrupt this review of the Volkswagen, whatever it's called, for a nature break. Look at this. It's snowing outside of Las Vegas. We're like 40 minutes north of Las Vegas. And it's 21 degrees, and there's snow and hail coming down. And there's just ice. You're not going to hit me with that, are you? Well, You're not going to throw it at the camera because no, no, it's no. waterproof, are you? <laughs> <sighs> well, let's take a look at the... Let's take a look at the, the trunk space in this guy. Are you happy with the trunk space? Like, would this work for you? Yeah, it would, to oh, it would totally work for me. I prefer something that's smaller. What I don't like about this trunk is this right here. Yeah. I mean, I just don't, what, what's going on? But other than that, you know, the seats come down. Yeah, well, this comes out. Oh, cool. So just take this out and throw it away. Yeah, I would. Well, then y y all your shit's exposed. Yeah, but... Who's really like breaking into a thing to steal all your bags? You've had your stuff broken into. Yeah, but it was because it was. You took your tripod, dude. You've got ex expensive equipment. Why don't you step in there and tell me if the back seat's uh, 
Is that roomy for you? How tall are you, Chad? 6'4". You got space in there? Oh, yeah. Plenty of space. I also fold up, fold up real nice, so... Yeah. Comfy. The back seats actually feel very similar to the front seats. Yeah? Yeah. What do you got, Chad? So, this is cool. Not only does, like, when you put it down, this kind of scoots forward so it lays flat. Yeah. But when you go back, it has a, like, a locked position. Yeah. Where if you... Oh, if you had some gear. If you had, like, some extra gear, but you still needed somebody to sit. They, yeah, you could, you could kind, kind of, of fudge it a little bit. Yeah. And then it goes all the way back. Sweet. That's pretty cool. So there you have it guys, another honest auto review from an average guy and a weird hipster dude. If you're in the market for a unique little sport SUV, you might want to take a look at the, uh, I don't even know what the hell the name of this car is. The, the Volkswagen <laughs> Tuga. Yeah, uh, the Vol Toric. Tor no, no, it's not the Toric. <laughs> nope. Just take a look at the Volkswagen SUVs, guys. Yeah, and there's one of them that looks like this one, and that's the one yeah. that we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, and I want to thank Chad for joining me on this show. Thank you, Chad. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. What is this called? I don't know what it's Teguin. called. Teguin. Teguin. Farfik Nugent. <laughs> take one. Take one. How Say for ha ha. Strudel. We're in Vegas. Right. And what, what happens in Vegas? What happens in Vegas? Stays in Vegas. Stu Rogers. Stu Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> Torig, take one. Listen, when you go to buy it, ask them how to say it and yeah. then leave a comment and tell us how you say it. I'm ready to rock and roll. Sweet. Thanks for watching.